So let's address the elephant in the room here. I already know there's gonna be a slew of comments, a slew of tweets, a slew of whatever you wanna, whatever social media platform you want, there's gonna be a slew of them. Everybody's gonna be like, oh, well, looks like Kakuramachi fell off. Oh, look, they're just introducing random characters. Oh, look, there's no fighting. This is gonna slow down. Oh, look, there's uh, blah, 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 blah. It, it, that's exactly what's about to happen. But let's just cut all the bullshit right cut all the bull jive we know where this is going we know what time it is i love the introduction to new characters the relevance of the character is going to continue throughout the story and that is exactly what he now is in kakadabachi he now is you know in a lot of mystery or action adventure movies they always have that one person that's either a bartender or a clerk or you know they're, they're the go-between for jobs you know what type of job i'm talking about execution executions burials bodyguards they're always those type and he now is that right which i thought was really cool because to start off a chapter by introducing this character obviously means that they're going to be here for the long run but let's get down to the nitty gritty of this chapter the connection was already established between Mr. Shiba and he now and it just so happened that he brought Chihiro with him that day and as they've gotten to know each other you know she became super fond of Chihiro you could tell by her initial introduction and after the years go by her greeting with Chihiro that like that's all obvious and then we meet Char a little rambunctious wild crazy funny nerd of a kid man just high strung and sort of had a similar look to chihiro in the eyes something's going on here why are you coming to hinao's place asking for a bodyguard why do you need protection what did you see and then we realize that the title of the chapter is called witness but it could go between you know one or two things obviously she witnessed an enchanted blade she's seen something go down and that could be what the witness is but if she's being targeted by a sorcerer that means she saw something that she had no business seeing you know she can't say too much which was something that had me very curious why are you not allowed to say who's chasing you what is going on do you got a bug on you is somebody looking for you blah 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 you know those type of questions those are the type of questions that we have to ask when it comes to this chapter and Chihiro is the one who had to do all the talking because he's used to handling childlike people aka his father you know what i mean outside of his father's swordsmanship and craftsmanship he was a bit of a you know a bit of a child now let's get to the rest of the chapter because when i see the villain pop in all right wait, wait, wait before we even get into the villain popping in did you notice the comfortability between chihiro and char char i should say not char there was a level of comfortability there because she didn't feel like talking to the actual like adult adults she didn't vibe with mr shiba like that because i mean come on dude look it's mr shiba what what, what are we talking about here but for some reason she was comfortable enough to confide in chihiro like off rip just offering her food she just said i'm shy I'm like yo all right cool and then the moment this guy walked through the door i was already a fan of his character design right already a fan but i knew he was bad news immediately it was an immediate oh he's a villain but i didn't think that it was going to be the guy who was initially i just kept and we already knew that this was the guy who was after Shar because he's he said still alive and kicking huh well that's problematic and i was like this could be twofold because obviously he already saw chihiro on the way in so maybe he knows who chihiro is because he said still alive see that's what i love about manga that have a way with writing you know what i mean they don't give you everything immediately but they give you just enough to make you ask questions about what is going on they'll answer some questions and then they'll bombard you with a lot of stuff that's going on in the background or a lot of other things that you need answers to i don't see the mark on him because when we saw his back we saw more of a flower petal than anything so i don't think he's necessarily a part of the hishaku but maybe he's a sorcerer that's a part of like a splinter cell you know what i mean foot soldiers if you will i become more and more fascinated with this manga by the day because you know you learn more and more about the numbers and how well it's doing and then you look at the mystique behind the characters and the plot 
and you're like oh it's cool because it's setting up for a lot right it's setting up for a future just flat out it's setting up for a future and i am so ready for next week's chapter that's how you know you got something good when you have me it's like a child at a candy store bro or a kid on christmas you have me waiting because like i'm so curious to figure out what happens next now there are manga that i read where i'm just like ah, that's cool and then i forget about it and then when it comes around i'm like oh yeah this happened but so far so good right you don't need to go ass blasting to the wall you know chris brown wall to wall i'm hitting back flips and front flips and you know all of this shit every single week no you just need to do something that makes me curious and engages me in critical thinking in regards to the chapter that's how i feel about this right i'm very interested very curious can't wait for next week to see what this guy does i want to know what his name is he's got a he's got a gerald cut he's got the high top you know what i'm saying high top fade and i also want to know what's going to go on with char i want to know what's happening with her in the background I want to know why she almost died or why she should be dead you know like i said it's a whole bunch it, it, this this is fascinating to me and i can't wait for next week's chapter make sure y'all let me know how y'all felt about this chapter down below leave a like if you enjoy subscribe if you're new i pray to god that i get my chapter one video back from the copyright strike because it's some bullshit again youtube if you're listening she you wish on some bullshit and if they try to give y'all a bullshit reason to keep my videos like dead y'all know i'm taking it a step further you know what i'm saying because if i'm getting it everybody getting it it ain't just me y'all not about to use me as an example i'm not some sacrifice to the cause i'm a content creator and i'm serious about my shit you know what i'm saying i'm serious about my crap shout out erica badu y'all know where i got that from but anyways like i said man leave a like if you enjoy subscribe if you're new if y'all fuck with cocker to you make sure y'all stick around man we are so close to 5,000 subscribers we are right around the corner bro we like 90 away so if y'all want to continue supporting your boy and be here for your boy and be here for kaga Dabachi and our road to greatness man make sure y'all stick around subscribe bro i'm trying to hit 5k that was my goal for the summer 10k was my goal for the end of the year but as long as we hit 5k soon that means we can kick into overdrive and actually make it to 10k by the end of the year man it's very ambitious goal of mine but y'all already know that i'm on my game man. y'all know that i'm here to stay become a member of the channel support your boy money is necessary to keep these things rolling so any and anything is appreciated but i digress man it's your boy damo senpai and i will catch you guys in the next video